Gail Irwin and I'm going to do a demonstration on how to print Van Dyke Brown prints. Uh, it's a 19th century photo process uh, and what's interesting to me is that I use uh, 21st century digital uh, technology combining it with the 19th century uh, process. I start with my negative and I'll be printing this uh, today. Uh, I take a digital photograph and then manipulate it in Photoshop so I come up with a negative. Uh, the next thing I do is I have a little bit of my photographic emulsion here in this little cup and uh, I'm going to put it on the paper uh, very thinly. Uh, the photographic chemicals are potassium ferrocyanide, tartaric acid, and uh, silver nitrate, and it's the silver nitrate that makes the print turn brown. Now, normally I would let this dry or help it along with my hair dryer, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to put this aside and pull out a piece of paper that I've, I have already coated um, and dried and I will put my negative on the paper and then sandwich it between uh, a board and a piece of glass, like so. And I use binder clips to make sure that the contact stays uh, tight. Um, and it is, as you can see, a contact printing process, so the size of my a negative will be the same size as my print. Um, I'm going to walk over here and do my Julia Child impression and pull out a uh, print that I have already exposed to, my, to UV light in my um, exposure unit. Um, I'm going to then take this and you can see what it looks like before I've rinsed it. And I will take this over to the uh, sink and rinse the print. Making sure I get all of the photographic chemicals off the paper that have not been exposed to light. It's important to do that because if any of the uh, emulsion is left on the uh, paper, it will begin to turn brown. And like with other photo negatives, wherever the light hits the paper, uh, it will turn brown. So my next step is to put this in the fixer over here. It stops the uh, process, the developing process, and it also brings up the highlights a little bit. So the print turns a little bit darker, as you can see here. Um, I will then put it into the uh, hypo clear so that it uh, will take out whatever of the fixer is in there. And then the last step is to put it in my tr tray for uh, rinsing for another 10 minutes or so. So that's the process. And I printed one a little bit earlier and this is what the finished product looks like. And I sometimes print on colored paper uh, and this is what that will look like. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, you can see my work at the Kingston Gallery. Uh, during the month of November. So, thank you.